Okay, guys, so in this episode, I'm going to talk about median voting rule. Uh, well, why do I talk about it? Because the median voting rule is a social choice function, which is strategy proof. Uh, it also has a range of more than three uh, elements, okay? Uh, in fact, it's unanimous, meaning if everybody ranks the same alternative as his or her top, so let's say A is the best alternative for all the voters, well, then uh, the median voter is going to choose A. If B is the top alternative for every voter, well, then the median voter is going to choose B, select B, and so on, all right? So therefore, its range includes more than three elements. And it's also strategy proof, meaning, uh, you know, lying, oh, I'm sorry, uh, each voter has incentive to, I mean, it is a, a dominant strategy for each voter to tell the truth, tell his or her truth preferences. Nobody has incentive to lie. Uh, well, how does it work? Uh, well, the median voter is basically the voter whose number of voters to his left and right are exactly the same. And so the median voter selects the top alternative of the median uh, voter. All right. So in order to, for example, I have one uh, a simple example here. Uh, so there are four candidates. So D has uh, A, B, C, D. All right. Each agent has strict preferences. So these are types. So this is a type profile. Under this type profile, what is going to be the outcome? What is F of theta? Well, the median voting, uh, median, median voting rule is going to select the top choice of the median voter. Who is the median voter? It is the guy whose the number of voters on his left and right are exactly the same. Well, does that make voter three the median voter? No, uh, certainly not. Uh, this is not what we mean. Uh, what we mean is, well, this is a single peaked, all right? So we rank the voters according to their uh, peaks, all right? So uh, what is the uh, voter whose peak so here, remember, this is a single peak preferences. So I can, um, I need a little bit more space. So let me get rid of this and let me pull this a little up. Let's say here. So this is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D. All right. So there are four alternatives. This is sort of the utility scale. So I'm, I'm going to... Uh, line up the voters in terms of their peaks, all right? So agent one has the peak A, remember? And then B and then C and then uh, D. So his utility function is something like this. And so this is agent one. He's clearly not the median voter because there's no one to his left. Everybody will be on his right. Okay, what about agent two? Agent two's peak is B, all right? Okay, so B is uh, his top choice, and then A, and then C, and then D. All right, so his sort of utility function is something like this. Okay, what about agent three? His peak is D, so here's D, and then C, and then B, and then A. So his utility function is something like this, okay. And then agent four or voter four, his top is C. Okay. And then uh, A. Uh, oh, well, I'm sorry. This is not single peak. It should be uh, B A. Okay. And by the way, let's also change this one. Uh, this is D C B A. So exactly the same with three. Fine. Uh, so C, the top choice and then B, uh, and then A, and then D, okay? So I have his utility function, something like this. And then finally, agent five. Agent five has D, C, B, A. So D top, C second, all right? Uh, D top, C, I mean, let's say here, D top, C second, and then B and then A, okay? So his utility function is going to be something like this. 
Well, here I drove it some, somehow less than the third agent's utility, but again, we don't compare the voters' uh, uh, utilities. Uh, all we care is how a given agent compares uh, different alternatives. So this is how we would actually, oh, this is agent five, voter five, I'm sorry. So this is how we would order the voters. All right, so here, who is the median voter? Well, it is the agent, it is the voter who has equal number of people on his left and right, okay? And so here it is clearly uh, agent four. So median voter, is voter four. So therefore f of theta in this case is his top choice, which is C. Okay, uh, well, the question is why this social choice function is strategy proof? Well, the median voting rule is strategy proof and I think it is easy. Uh, let me argue why it is strategy proof or why each voter has incentive to tell the truth. Well, here, uh, voter 4 has clearly no incentive to deviate because he's getting his first best anyway, which is C. Uh, well, let's think of, for example, agent 5, voter 5. Can he, uh, I mean, does he uh, has incentive uh, to deviate? Uh, well, if he wants to change the outcome, right, he has to be the median voter, right? I mean, if you look at the description, the median voting rule is always going to select the top alternative of the median voter. So unless you are the median voter, there's no way you can, uh, uh, you can change the outcome or you change your location in such a way that you make another person median voter. All right. Well, the question is, uh, he is getting C, right? This is his first uh, sort of second best. Can he get something better than this? Well, which is D. Well, in order to make D his, uh, the, 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 the ch top choice, uh, I'm sorry, the choice, the outcome, well, he has to make uh, the peak of D as the median voter's peak. Uh, so that means there should be equal number of people to the left of D. Uh, well, how many people are there? There are three people and he cannot touch them. And so by changing his location, agent five cannot decrease the number of people on the left. Uh, okay, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, or let's argue about agent uh, two. So agent two is already getting B, right? Uh, I'm sorry, he's, he's getting C, uh, which is uh, his, uh, this alternative, which is, uh, is third best, right? Yes, it is the third best. So the question is, can he make B or A uh, the final outcome? Well, uh, in order to make B, he has to make B uh, the median voters uh, uh, peak. But the thing is, that means the number of voters to the left and to the right of B should be the same. But there are three guys already out there and he can't change their locations, uh, their peaks locations. And so therefore, whether agent two declares his peak here, I mean, like A or C, D is not really going to make B as the uh, a peak of the median voter. Well, can he make A chosen? Uh, the same thing, he cannot really make A the peak of the median voter uh, because there's going to be already uh, uh, three voters uh, to the right of A. Okay, so in fact, if you kind of look at this picture, no player can switch his peak, right? Declare his peak different than uh, his or her true peak and make uh, that uh, declared peak as the median voters peak and so get that alternative selected. It's impossible. And hence, the median voting rule is strategy proof. I hope that was clear.